Hello, welcome to the back to the train on the railroad. Welcome if you haven't been here before. Today I'm going to be talking about Atherin rubber band drive locomotives, and we'll be comparing some of the differences between them and an Atherin blue box locomotive, mainly in the drivetrain department. Um, one of the main things you'll notice about an Atherin rubber band drive locomotive is there isn't a gear tower. And if you've still got your the shell on. Here's the shell of mine. You may notice the axles. Um, when I picked this one up, um, there were no rubber bands. Um, right now, until I found that these rubber bands from, I believe, Dollar Tree. Uh, that's what I've been using. They come in many colors. Um, I've got black because that looks a little better than bright pink or something. So, benefits of this rubber band drive transmission is um, maintenance is super easy. Okay. Oil your bearings, oil your bearing surfaces, motor bearings, these post bearings, and. Um, wheel bearings down here drop of oil in there I use mineral oil because I found it doesn't harm plastics and it's conductive enough to be used here and on newer ones newer atherns on those bearings down in there I think I'll maybe paint one of my screwdrivers white so I can use it as a pointer Oh, I just took the coupler off that. Okay. Um, one of the main problems with these is that at low speeds, they surge. Um, so, like, while well, it's going along, it slows down, and then it goes, and slows down, and then goes. They're kind of surgy at low speeds. That's where a geared transmission is... Excellent, because if the motor turns, wheels are going to turn unless there's something wrong. Here, I just hold here. I can spin the motor all day. And I can probably... See, the motor gets hard to spin on this geared one because there isn't a slip point. These can slip, so if you got too heavy a train, the motor and bands are going to slip. Your train's not going to go anywhere. With this, you'll get wheel slip. So. These have five pole motors. Open frame. So. There's a mark on that pole. So one. Two, three, four, five. Back to the one with the mark. Which is the same as, same number of poles as here. The older motor, the older open frame motor is a little bit chunkier. There's a little bit more of a click for every pole. Where it kind of nests. These are known for being ludicrously fast. Um, with just this, with just my Bachman, it's an older Bachman controller. I believe the max output is 16 volts. So at 16 volts, this is probably going a good scale 3,000 miles an hour. At 187th scale, that is it's going pretty fast. Um, I timed it at some point. And found that it is faster than all my other locos. So, all of that is on its own. If you put a train behind it, it might be a little bit slower. Although scale speed and rubber band drive are not two words that go together in the same sentence without something negating. That's the differences between them. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go down and subscribe to see more like it. And if you would like... Whoa! Okay, that's the end of this video. Make sure to, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.